everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Football Manager 2011 and welcome to the City of Manchester Stadium for the Liverpool vs City game. Uh, fairly big game, it is always a big game when you play City, I've mentioned this before, you know. Underachievers this season, finishing, uh, finishing uh, currently 7th. Uh, they were a lot lower this season though, I think someone pointed out in the comments on a video way back, uh, like part 25 or something, saying, uh, I was showing the league table and someone said, <laughs> Man City 11th, which is true, you know, they shouldn't really be there, you know, look at the players they have, you know, Tevez, Silva, Torre, Milner, De Jong, Montalivo they signed, uh, he's took many uh, player of the months, Torre, Colo Torre, both, obviously both Torre still playing, which is quite unreal, uh, company, Kolarov, etc, but we have our players as well, and obviously I think, uh, it certainly showed that during um, the League Cup final. Um, team here we have Torres, Balotelli, uh, continuing. I've decided to change up the formation due to the fact that City play well against the 4-4-2. Uh, Hazard in the middle. Gerrard on the right. I decided this time Lucas in defensive midfield. Uh, and Digne comes in for Aga, who is injured. He got injured playing for Denmark. Thankfully, he's only going to be out for a few days. Um... And that's pretty much it. Wilson moves to the centre of midfield. Uh, however, just a few things to go over. As you know, it is the start of the month. So what I'm going to go over is a uh, few player of the month. Uh, Tim Cahill winning player of the month. However, Daniel Lecker coming in second and Steven Gerrard third, which is impressive. Uh, Raphael won um, the young player of the month with Hazard coming in third. And Varane, a few, a few of you recommended me to sign again, already been snapped up by Man City. Uh, goal of the month went to Montalivo, so again, another one of him, he always pops up on these uh, award things, and um, Tony Pulis won manager month, which was confusing. What I love though, it says here, we've got me coming second, and Moise Kate coming third. It says we're trailing in the wake, well, not really, because I won the League Cup. If you say winning the League Cup is trailing in someone's wake, then I see that, I see you as being a bit of an idiot. Anyway, um, we're going to move on, and we shall play this Man City game. So we've come down from that high of the League Cup final. Let's see what we can do here against a uh, underachieving Man City team. So we've got ah, Glenn Johnson with his G next to the next to his name, obviously with Adam Johnson also playing or at least being on the bench. Uh, anyway, here's Hazard. Oh, great run from Hazard! Great run from Hazard, and that's a oh, that's it's going to be a corner. I thought that was going to be an absolutely amazing goal. You know when sometimes it opens up and you think it's going to go in. You know, he's going to let fly and it's going to go in. Anyway, here's Digne going up against Silva. And well done to him there, beating David Silva. You know, someone who's unbelievable quality. But Torres, oh, not the greatest quality there from, you know, the two Spaniards letting uh, letting themselves down there. Silva being beaten by an 18-year-old Frenchman. And uh, Torres with some very poor finishing. Not to undermine Digne, of course. But bear in mind, he is an 18-year-old Frenchman. That is uh, not the greatest asset you can honestly have as a human being. Anyway, uh half an hour in, very quick game so far, absolutely flying at the moment, not much happening, Balotelli going up against his old club, Torres though, here's Kalu, 1-0, and Salman Kalu puts us in front with another goal from him, and I'm sorry if you're suffering from epilepsy, but the game has, is going totally mental on the bar there, good grief, <laughs> I'm sorry if you're having an, having an absolute epileptic fit right now, don't know why I did that, but never mind, Salman Kalu puts us in front with uh, well, a great strike. And good passing movement again, straight across the box. Balotelli to Torres. Kalu just in that little bit of space. Again, ahead of Zabaleta. Joe Hart couldn't do much about that. And Kalu fires us in front here at Eastlands. And Lucas picking up his uh, typical yellow card as he always seems to. <laughs> he certainly does in real life anyway. Oh, uh, Glenn Johnson has been injured. That's not good. Thankfully, we have defenders, and thankfully, he's only 80%, which means he probably won't be that badly injured. Uh, we'll move Skettle into middle, and Jamie Carragher will now play at right back. So that's annoying. I also saw there Sam Sawyer was on the bench, have given the uh, young regen another go, see how he does. But anyway, Hazard. Oh, he's beaten Torre. He's beaten another player there. He's moving across the box. He's still going, Eden Hazard. But can Torres finish it? Oh, and. Wow, what a run from Eden Hazard. He's really, really coming into his own. And just ever since the turn of the year, actually not even that, I think since, I don't know, I, th I think really since scoring his first goal. I think it'd be, I think it, when was that? I um, can't even remember when he scored his first. I think it was against West Ham. I can't remember. I'll get back to you on that one. But um, I can't remember. But since scoring his first goal a few months ago, he has gone from strength to strength. Oh, and Rain has missed the ball. Tevez knocks it in. Where was the defence? Right on half time. Looks like we've absolutely dominated the game, but Tevez puts Man City back in it. What on earth happened here? Tevez, let's see, so 
as Carragher just didn't even bother putting the tackle in. Oh, and Tevez absolutely nowhere near. Rain and Wilson both missing the ball. Oh, that's disappointing. They've had the one shot and the score from it in the 48th minute. I don't tell them they can win that. It's disappointing, but yeah, Jamie Carragher, you know, that's what happens. When you... I'll tell you what, actually, we should have a look. Who is on the left, right? So I've got Color of and Zabaleta. Um, Montalivo's come off, which is interesting, even though, oh, that's better. Gareth Barry's come on. Fair enough. That, I was going to say move Carragher, but Balotelli, um, Balotelli, Montalivo's gone off, and uh, ba uh, Barry's on, so, um, oh, I thought Lucas was going to be sent off then, uh, but uh, yeah, so that's not too bad now, Montalivo the threat has gone off for some reason, but I don't know exactly know why, but it looks like we've dominated this game so far, but City are coming on to us now, disappointing, I was expecting that though, you are playing at Eastlands, mind you, waiting for Hazard to put tackling, and he looks a lot more eager, he looks playing a lot more happiness, and just general freedom and creativity that uh, you want to see in a footballer like Hazard. And uh, he's been pressing me. And Steven Gerrard being booked now. Again, a bit frustrated, it seems. So anyway, Digne's throw finds Kalou. And Balotelli, what can he do against his old club here? You want to score, definitely, but that's gone well over. Uh, I need to change that back to standard, I think. I think since I've changed... I, don't, I can't even remember if I changed throw or not, actually. But uh, yeah, I'll definitely change her up. Uh, if they have a corner, that's not good. Uh, I want to take Balotelli off, I think. And I shall throw Andy Carroll on. And they have a chance here. This one's going to fire it. Kolarov's there. And City take the lead. And Kolarov score. Typical powerful. Yeah, typical powerful finish. Call it well. They really have posed absolute sod all of a threat. And they've scored two goals. How's that work? Not closing them down, absolutely nothing. Too much space. Not much you can do about a shot like that. Reina couldn't really do much. But that three shot, I mean I know it's a poor I know it's a low shooting game, low shooting game, but you know. That's poor. They've only had two shots on target and both of them have been goals. Right, can we get a can we make a response here? Here's Digne. Kalu, come on, we did we did well in the first half and then we gave away them goals. Well here's Torres ten a shot and there we go, we equalised Fernando Torres. Great movement, and uh, we didn't have to wait too long for that equaliser. I think it was going, but Torres just needed that, just that little glimpse, that little gap there for it to open up, and uh, that's what happened. Let's see, Kalu took it away from the play here, I think. It was as Avaleta bounced kindly for Torres, but good half volley. Oh, it was a deflection off De Jong. Oh, wow. May have been going in anyway, but we're not sure about that, but never mind. It's gone in, and uh, it's 2-2. Two -two Both teams will be going for the win, you'd have to think. So we're going to take off then, oh god, I'll take Lucas off I think we might have to just go for it to be honest, we'll throw Dirk Kout on uh, oh god um, I won't do that and it's hard to pick that one off, forget that one uh, we'll take oh Christ don't know who to bring on <laughs> Joe Cole, he seems to do well in these situations Let's move. I'll just do this We'll do this. I think it is City, but we want to win. We do want to win. We're going to go for that sort of Christmas tree thing there. And Lucas will come off for Cole. So now, what can. If City get a, a winner here, though, it would be quite ironic if we lose in Manchester twice, wouldn't it? Or we could possibly win still. We don't know. But go through Manchester. We lost, of course. The only time we lost in the Premier League this season was against United. But Torres, though, poor effort from Torres. High and wide. I think we might. Oh no, I'm gonna check. I'm gonna keep it standard. If it was against someone a little easier, I probably would go attacking. But two two. Oh, we have one final chance. Gerard's corner knocked in, and we have a winner. Martin Skirtle. Massive, massive goal that is. From the apps, from at one point we would look like we were gonna lose, and Martin Skirtle with an absolute last gasp winner, charging in, header past Joe Hart. 3-2 at Eastlands. And we've somehow grabbed the three points with a 94th minute winner from Martin Skirtle. His first goal of the season. I don't think he's going to score a more important goal than that. And how important is that in the title race? Unbelievable finish there at Eastlands. 3-2 to Liverpool there. And man of the match, Salman Kalou with one goal and one assist. And uh, United winning their... Uh, 
the replay that against Doncaster. So uh, Glenn Johnson out for nine to eleven days, and we did not ease past City at all. That is absolute rubbish. And Kalu shining, scoring eight goals. That's not bad for someone who uh, some people some people are saying you should get rid of him. That's not bad. That is not bad at all. Uh, let's do the post-match conference. You can see the unbeaten run has continued in the Premier League, and what a comeback that was. We haven't had too many late winners, and certainly that late anyway for a while. Uh, absolute collector's item from Skettle, but my god, what a way to end that was. And that is now, how many is that? 26 games. Unbelievable finish at Eastlands. And it couldn't have come in due time because we are due to play Arsenal at Anfield. Next Premier League game. Of course, we've got Leon in the Champions League next, but we maintain that seven point lead over Arsenal. And I'm not being funny, but if we win against Arsenal, that will be a 10-point lead. That could very well win us the title now. I'm not going to... Uh, there is still 10 games left, and there is still another 30 points up for grabs. But look at, look at the fixtures we have. It's not as if we've got too many difficult games left. You know, let's uh, let's move it. I mean, we have Arsenal, Stoke, Fulham, Borough, Burnley, Birmingham, Villa, Bolton, Arsenal, Newcastle. We have Arsenal again at the, excuse me, at the back end at the season right at the end how important was that goal if we had just grabbed the point there we'd be five points out of Arsenal so we'd still be in the driving seat but that's going to give the team so much confidence four straight wins now in all four different competitions sorry in three different competitions but what a winner and uh, that goal may may have won us the league title unbelievable Thank you very much for watching. Join me, please, for the uh, concluding round in the... Uh, not first knockout round, I should say, in the uh, Champions League against Leon. Remember, we hold a two-goal lead um, as, as we go to the Stade de Guerre land uh, against Leon. So, join me, please, for that. Hope you've enjoyed this day, and uh, goodbye for now.